What's up, guys? Joe at Momentum Works. I bet you're wondering, what does this piece of flat steel have to do with putting compounds on your 3406? Well, stay tuned, and I'm going to tell you. So it seems like for the past 20 years, we've been taking compounds off of Acer to single them out. And while I still do believe that's a good idea, you know, there are some people that really do like the compounds, and I do agree that the compounds work pretty good on the Acer, depending on what you want to do. But this has now opened the door for customers that have the 3406, 14.6 block, uh, that want to put compounds on. And with having, you know, so many takeoff compounds in the market, it's pretty easy to get your hands on a set of Acer compounds if you wanted to put them on your 3406. The main problem being is that on 3406, there's nowhere to mount the low pressure turbocharger, which is where this plate comes in. So this plate made by one of the guys in the cat community, James Head, really cool guy. Um, this bracket's basically going to bolt onto your 3406 block, allowing you to be able to hang that low pressure turbo. So basically, if you get a full takeoff set from an Acer, you can use all those components to compound turbo your 3406. The only thing you're going to need is this bracket uh, because, like I said, the 3406 block doesn't have provisions on it the way the 15.2 liter Acer block does to hang that low pressure turbo. So basically, you would mount this plate onto the engine block, and then from there, the low pressure turbo block, or the turbo bracket, would have to be modified slightly because this is 8 inch plate steel. So you're going to have to take a 16th of an inch off of the top side and the bottom side of that low pressure turbo bracket. All right, guys, so now that we talked about the bracket that you need, let's talk about the actual components that would go into doing a compound turbo setup on your 3406. So like I said, you can literally just get someone's A-cert takeoff. The manifold, all that stuff will bolt directly up. You'll hang your high pressure right on the manifold. You'll put this low pressure bracket onto your block. Then you can hang the low pressure turbo mount and turbo. And then as far as all the oil lines and everything, the inlets on the block, as far as where the oil goes in and where the oil feeds from the oil filter housing, you could reuse all those locations or plumb it on your own. So realistically, it's not that difficult to put compounds on. I mean, of course, now that you have this plate, there is going to be a little bit of work involved, but you can make this as bougie or as cheap as you want. If you get a full takeoff set, you could basically use all that. What a lot of our customers are doing is they'll, they'll buy a performance manifold, whether it be a steed speed or a full tilt, uh, and maybe get some new Zeki turbos. And then you can reuse some of the ACERT piping because from Caterpillar, it can be quite expensive. Uh, but guys, if you want a full list, we basically have what we call a refresh kit for the C15 ACERT. Uh, it comes with a steed speed manifold, new turbos, all kinds of gaskets and everything like that. And then if you could grab a couple of the bellows out of an ACERT takeoff, uh, or even just go down the cat and get it, you would have a full kit. Um, and I can make a list of the part numbers you would need as well. But Guys, if you're looking to put compounds on your 3406, it's, it's easier than ever at this point. And I know that there's kits out there to do custom setups, and they're awesome, but you, know, you might as well take advantage of you know, the Acer engineering and the fact that they're readily available, and it's almost a bolt-on kit. So, guys, if you have any questions or if you want to get one of these ordered or our refresh kit, I'll put the link in the description below. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you on the next one.